Okay, so I got a bunch of cool things to show you all. So, um, some of these things I already showed you before. Like, I know I showed you these, um, these seeds from my seed swap. These are from seed swap, and I got these from seed swapping. I already showed you this. And this is what came lately. Actually, no, let me show you what I got before that. Uh, before this last batch, <clears throat> there's this uh, Blue Lake Bush Bean, California Black, Black Eyed Pea, and uh, California Giants, Zinnias. This came from, uh, this came from, uh, these all came from, um, People on the Seed Swap group and on Facebook is called um, Free Seed Swap USA Only. That's what it's called. And then these came last. So I got some Pusa Asita carrots. These are black. Black carrots. Inca Red Drop Pepper, which is like a small, like, mm, I don't know. It's like the size of a raisin, I think I would say. Little red um, pepper, hot red wonder wild strawberry. These are actually uh, seeds that are available through um, Baker Creek. I think she had like a bunch of Baker Creek seeds that she said she didn't want to grow, and so she gave them away. I guess she broke the packet. Red cherry pepper. This is an Italian variety, actually. It's hot, I believe. And there's pink banana. So, um, I had bought some pink banana seeds before, and uh, the seeds came and they were all broken. And when I opened this packet, it's kind of the same thing. They were not completely broken, but um, I think that I got. There's two good ones, and I think this one, this one might grow, but I don't know. Anyway, I think she put like maybe five seeds in there, maybe four, I don't know. For sure, I think that these two will make it. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, um... Oh yeah, so anyway, I wanted to also show you this. I got this at uh, one of the ethnic stores nearby. And as you can see there, well, if you didn't know, I guess these are all hot peppers. Uh, let's see, they were $6.99 a pound. So, um... I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna eat these for sure, but additionally, I will cut out the seeds from some of them to grow. Now, this is kind of a mixture. I want to say this looks to me like, like um, pepper seeds that cross-pollinated and, you know, they, they bore a, a variety of different kinds of shapes. I can't believe, begin to say what this is. I would say these are all like some kind of habanero mix or scotch bonnet mix. This to me looks like a scorpion pepper. This thing here is typical of a scorpion pepper. And uh, this kind of thing here almost looks like a Carolina Reaper with that crazy little crinkly appearance. This here yeah, with this little tip here. Almost looks like a cross between Carolina Reaper and um, Scotch Bonnet. This, this is what the Scotch Bonnet mostly looks like, typically. And these over here, they kind of look like, um, I can't remember what they're called, but, you know, there's like a little Spanish pepper that's actually not very hot. It's not hot at all, but it, it has a similar appearance to this. So anyway, um, 
I think I'm going to save seeds from this pepper and for sure this one here and um, maybe this one, probably this one and probably this one too. Like I said, I think these are all some kind of cross between Scotch Bonnet and something else. Something else that was probably growing nearby. I might say that too. Anyway, what I like to do with uh, my peppers, when I buy them like this, you see how this one is sort of like turning, turning ripe? I usually like to just keep this on the table. I do this with regular bell peppers too. Um, it's a lot cheaper that way. You know, when you go to the store and you buy peppers completely ripe, they're like, you know, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars a pound. If you buy them like half ripe, they might be half that price. And you, you know, if you're patient enough, you just let them sit on the table, and any of this little green will disappear and it'll ripen completely. It'll turn into this kind of thing. This perfectly beautiful orange color. Some of these might not get that far. Like this one, it looks like it's it was picked very soon, very, very early. So I don't think that, that these probably won't ripen completely. But um, something like this, it's pretty, pretty, it's already turning gold. So like this one here, this is probably going to ripen too. Anyway, so we'll see how it goes. Just wanted to show you that. So another good piece of good news, which... You know, I was very naughty again. I bought these, these four at the supermarket. They were like four for a dollar. So I figured, well, this can't put too much of a dent in my bank account. Twenty-five cents a seed packet. And I was really looking forward to getting some of these sunflower seeds because there's some kids that live across the street that are eager to work with me in the community garden. So I was going to, they definitely want to plant sunflowers, so I bought that specifically for them. And zinnies are always a very lovely, cheerful thing to grow in the garden. Now, sturtiums I like to plant with uh, tomatoes and peppers as like an underplanting. And alyssum, sweet alyssum I like to plant with um, the brassicas and such. It looks really pretty like that, growing underneath, so... And this I bought, I actually went to um, the garden center this afternoon looking for some P and B and inoculants and they didn't have any. I actually had a few other things in my hands and it's a good thing because if I had if I'd found that I would have got the rest. So I said, well, I'm not going to buy this silly stuff. I have like an African violet and a couple of different seeds. So anyway, I decided I would get this because I'm a big sucker for that color there, that color on the husk. So this this Martian Jewels corn is a it's a type of flower corn actually, but you can if you pick it early, you can grow it as a a sweet corn. It doesn't get to be very very sweet, but it's it still gets sweet. And uh, if you let it continue to ripen and dry, it'll become a nice flower corn. So I like flower corn. So um, on this is 25, 25 feet. Did I read that? I read. I read somewhere it says that you can. This is 25 feet of. For 25 feet of. Seeds worth whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so the other good news, or not so good news. No, this is good news. This is good news. Let me put them. There you go. So I also went to the, to the same place where I got the four for a dollar seeds, and I got these little miniature African violets. I can't remember, I think they were like four and four dollars. I just couldn't help myself. They're so cute. Anyway, I mean, look at the size of them too. It's like they're tiny, but they're blooming and they're 
beautiful. This one actually fell. I was like, I was like a kid, a kid um, with a lollipop. I I wouldn't let them go. And uh, so anyway, we were in the car, and I'm holding on to them, and I was trying to do something with one hand, or I was trying to hold, because I have, you know, I have one in each hand, so I was trying to do something. I can't remember what I was trying to do, and I dropped this thing. That's why it looks a little beat up. I dropped it, um, I'm trying to get it to focus. Focus, focus, focus. Alright, whatever. That's as good as it gets. Anyway, so, I almost caused an accident. It went under the, um, went on my husband's side of the car. It was almost underneath his foot. He's trying to put his foot on the brake. That's better. Anyway, so, I almost caused, caused a major accident. But I didn't. It didn't happen. So, praise the Lord. I got me some beautiful miniature African violets. I think they call them teacup. So cute. I am so over the moon about these. So, um, I'm just going to add these to my collection. So, anyway, like I said, this is my, my happiness for today.